It is finally happening. Today we are unboxing the speed editor for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. This is the new toy that I have now. And of course, there will be a module in the masterclass for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad because you can actually use this speed editor also with the iPad. I will see if it works straight from the box because I was reading that you have to have the newest firmware update on this speed editor. And I'm very honest with you because I just wanted to buy one used. I didn't want it to buy it new until I found out something that I did not know. And maybe many of you guys don't know that as well. So yes, this piece of hardware on the website of Blackmagic costs like $300. $95. I got it now for $330 new on Amazon in the German Amazon market. So you have to check if you find it somewhere else new. And the reason why I bought it new and not used because I could have got it for like 120, 150 euros used is because of that. When you buy the original, you get one studio license for DaVinci Resolve on the desktop. It doesn't work on the iPad, but it's the studio license for the desktop. And if you're like me, at one point you wanna upgrade anyway, then this could be an interesting part, getting one of the hardware of Blackmagic. I said in a couple of videos before why this is a huge, like the business model of Blackmagic is amazing because they can give DaVinci Resolve with most of the features for free. And if you buy, for example, a Blackmagic camera, you get the studio license, I knew about that, but I did not know that you can actually get the studio license even with a speed editor like this. So this maybe opens doors if you were thinking about getting a studio license or thinking about getting the speed editor, it was a win for me. I did not know that and now you know that as well. Okay, so I already figured out, you don't use the cable to connect it. It's actually for charging the, the speed editor. So it could be when you unbox it that it needs a little bit more of a charging. So you have to put it away, charge it. I'm doing this right now. And then you connect this via Bluetooth. So here we have DaVinci keyboard pair. DaVinci keyboard connected. Let's go to DaVinci Resolve and see what happens. Oh yeah, it is working. I'm using the speed editor in DaVinci Resolve. It was that simple. And it also shows you the charging of your speed editor here. So it works straight away. I didn't have to make the firmware update. So check your device if you connected this one and it doesn't work on the iPad straight away. It could be that you have to upgrade the firmware first on the speed editor. But mine was working straight away from the box. So I guess it's already the newest firmware inside of the box. That's kind of cool. And once again, there will be a video dedicated to the speed editor in the future, but a dedicated module with everything that you can do and the workflows and everything. I will put this into the masterclass. I will work on that. And so that's a nice option. What I can already tell, I'm impressed. I really like this one. I saw the jog wheel in Final Cut Pro on the iPad itself, which is cool. But to have this, it's cool. I can see that. Uh, I will figure out a way how I can still use the speed version of all of my shortcuts and that one and see if I can combine those workflows and we'll see what I will use in the future. I wish you an amazing day. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding and the bam bang gong and we we'll see us in the tomorrow's video. I'm Daniel, bye.